welcome you all to our press conference. Uh, thank you so much for responding to our call on such a uh, short notice. I want to introduce you to uh, my colleagues on my left, is Mr. Cesar Namani, who is the Legal Council for Paragon, and my colleague, uh, President Gamaniela. So, uh, what we'll do is uh, I, will, I will read the statement on behalf of Paragon. And uh, Mr. Damanje will do some clarification, will do some clarifications on the legal aspect of what, what we are discussing. And, uh, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions in terms of the operations moving forward and the current situation. And my colleague Jasmine will uh, answer those questions. So I would suggest that uh, maybe what we need to do is let, let us finish the statement, the statements, and then give Mr. Namanje an opportunity to speak, and then we can do the q &A. Thank you. So this is, this is a statement uh, by Paragon on behalf of all our colleagues at Paragon Navigation Services and our office company. By way of uh, background, on 29 June 2022, the High Court of Namibia, Per Justice Sibaya, ordered the eviction of Menzies Aviation from Osiakuta International Airport in order to enable Paragon to commence with its work in terms of tender award made by the Namibia Airports Company. Menzies, then not pleased with the High Court judgment, Per Justice Sibaya, appealed to the Supreme Court of Namibia against that order. The Supreme Court delivered its judgment on Menzies' appeal on 9 June 2023, confirming the eviction of Menzies from Rossia Kutapo Airport as the contractor providing ground handling services to the airlines. After Menzies was given notice to vacate Rossia Kutapo International Airport on 9 May 2023 by the Namibia Airports Company after it lost its Supreme Court appeal, it approached the High Court on an urgent basis on the evening of 12 June 2023, asking the High Court to stay its eviction from the airport and implementation of the High Court order evicting it from the airport. The High Court on 15 June 2023 temporarily stayed the implementation of the eviction order pending the court deciding on whether or not the notice given but two messages by the Namibia Airports Company after the Supreme Court order was, re was reasonable or not. The court also had to decide whether or not the eviction order must be stayed until finalization of, separa of, a, of separation legal proceedings brought by Menzies in relation to the tender award to Paragon currently uh, pending before another judge. After arguments on 4 July 2023, the High Court, Bear Justice Hotel, postponed the case to 4 August 2023 for judgment. On 4 August 2023, the judgment was not ready and the case was postponed to 8 August 2023 for delivery of that particular judgment. It turned out that on 4 August 2023, Menzies again instituted an, after, an interlocutory application in order to introduce what it called was new evidence before the judgment is delivered on 8 August 2023. Again, this appears to have been a tactic to prolong Nancy's unlawful stay at the airport. This new application by Nancy's, one of many applications in courts, was had on the evening of 7 August 2023, a judgment therein was also postponed to 8 August 2023. On 8 August 2023, the High Court dismissed with costs Messi's late, latest application to introduce new evidence before the main judgment was delivered. In the main application brought by Messi on 12 June 2023, the court yesterday made the following order. And I quote, it is declared that the notice which the Namibia Airports Company on 9 June 2023 gave to Menzies Aviation to cease rendering of the ground handling services and vacate the Osiakutapo International Airport 
was not reasonable and is thus invalid. The notice of 9 June 2023 referred to in the paragraph above is set aside. The prayer to, uh, to stay the execution of this court's order issued under case HC stroke MD stroke CID stroke MOT stroke GEN stroke 2022 stroke 00233 pending the outcome of the review application under case or under the previous case that I've mentioned is dismissed. The prayer to stay the execution of this court's order is issued under case HC stroke MD stroke, CIV stroke, MOT stroke, GN stroke, 2022 stroke, 00233. Pending the determination of Menzies' uh, appeal in the Supreme Court from the case of the, sorry, from, from case of the review application under the same uh, order is dismissed. The prayer is set aside, sorry, the prayer to set aside the certification by the 14th and or 15th and or 16th respondent of Paragon staff and equipment as fed for purpose to comply with the contract in, entered into Namibia Airports Company Limited and Paragon to provide ground handling services at Hosea Kutako International Airport is dismissed. Each party must, must bear its own cost. The matter is regarded as finalized and removed from the road. That's the end of the book. Paragon hereby therefore informs its customers, the general public and all stakeholders, that it has kept a state of readiness since 9 June 2023 and will immediately start with further, further preparation to commence with ground handling services at Jose Akutapo International Airport whenever NAC may ask you to commence. Paragon expects that on the expiration of the 30-day period, NSA may give Menses. Menses will be obligated to leave the airport and hand over operations to Paragon. This therefore means that Menses is on its way out from Osea Kutaku International Airport as it has again lost its application to stay, to stay the order made by the High Court per Justice Subia on 29 June 2022. Further information on Paragon's preparation and takeover will be communicated to the public in due course. On this basis, we thank all our customers, friends, and other stakeholders who patiently waited for court to pronounce itself on this long-standing issue. Paragon, while not pleased with the delay occasioned by the unlawful refusal of Menzies to leave the airport as found by the Supreme Court is at least happy that it has now made clear that Messi's will have to leave the airport within the period of time ordered by the High Court. Finally, Paragon is profound, profoundly concerned by the arrogant attitude and dilatory tactic, dilatory tactics employed by, by Messi's over the past 12 months or so. Yesterday, after the High Court judgment in which Menzies lost his application to stay its eviction from the airport, Menzies issued a public statement in which, in which it amongst others stated that, and I quote, Menzies will therefore continue to provide ground handling services at Hosea Kutapot International Airport unless otherwise informed by Menzies and not any other third party. It is clear from the, uh, and that's the end of the quote, sorry. It is clear from the above statement that in a manner that is consistent with Menzies' unlawful refusal to leave, to leave the airport as directed by the High Court on 29 June 2022 and as confirmed by the Namibian Supreme Court on 9 June 2023, Menzies is determined to continue delaying its vacation of the airport at all costs. Paragon will henceforth no longer tolerate any delay tactics and will, as a fact, take over operations at the expiration of that, of that period that, that the NEC may give Menzies to leave the airport. Millions of Namibia dollars have been lost by Paragon as a direct result of Menzies' refusal to vacate airport, the airport despite court orders. 
Paragon's right to claim damage, damages in future as res is reserved, and its legal uh, practitioners will guide Paragon in this regard. And this is issued by Paragon Management, and 